Okay, so we have whimsical.com, which is basically a tool to generate flow charts, wireframes, mind maps, project, project plans, and different types of documents. And it's embedded with AI. So we are going to uh, try this out. Uh, let me log in here and let's, oh, great. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, I am in there now and uh, basically, you can create a bunch of different things here. Like I said, wireframes, docs. Once you're in here, like this whole white area with the little dots is very similar to like Mural or Miro. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Um, this is the mind map. So uh, we're going to bring this up and I'm going to mind map something that I'm going to be talking about on a newsletter today. And that is um, I need to talk about value propositions for my news letter. Okay, so let's just sort of say, okay, uh, define the define VPs. Okay, uh, components of a VP. I'm going to pause this while I build this out. Okay, so I basically started building out the mind map, divine, define value propositions, components of a value proposition, example of great value propositions, and uh, example of poor ones. Why having a value proposition is important for both pro businesses and projects and common misconceptions. So say I'm stuck or whatever, and I'm like, okay, let's talk about the importance of a value proposition for both business and projects. Well, I click this little button and it says generates, generate ideas. So let's see what AI can generate to continue to drill down into this mind map. Maybe it's going to make, give me some good topics, some other categories, and let's see where this goes. Okay, so it basically came up with a clear value proposition to help business differentiate themselves. Yes, for projects, value proposition can help stakeholders understand the purpose. Yes, having a well-defined value proposition can also help business and projects stay focused on the core objectives. Very good. So this actually did a really good job. Let's just go to, I wrote common misconceptions. I'm assuming it's gonna know I'm talking about value propositions, but I didn't write it in here. Let's see if it can generate some common misconceptions about value propositions. Again, I'm gonna pause while it thinks. Aha, so this is one of those things where it looked at the context, it went back to, I need to talk about value propositions for my newsletter. And it's assuming that it's, I'm looking for a value proposition for my newsletter, not I need to talk about value propositions in my newsletter tonight, in my edition. So can't blame AI there. I was not really specific, but this is talking about how to write newsletters with a um, strong value proposition. Still good, uh, but not necessarily what I was looking for. Again, it shows uh, how you have to use prompts that have context. So let's go up to examples of poor value propositions and see how well it does. This will be the last one we test. Okay, so I actually built some more out here. I asked for the components or one of my mind map nodes was components of a VP and it did a pretty good job. You need a target audience, a pain point, a solution, a unique selling proposition and a call to action. I mean, there's many definitions of what a value proposition is. This is one of them and it broke out the components really, really well. And we could probably break these down into more and more ideas. Um, here, I had to change um, examples of great value propositions. That's just what I had. I added for well-known brands because down here, when I asked for poor value propositions, it again, resorted to thinking about it was for my newsletter, not just like really good value propositions out there in the ether and pop culture. So for here, I said well-known brands. Now, some of these are not technically value propositions. Um, they're taglines, but Amazon's is pretty good. Um, so again, not perfect, but again, a mind map's not meant to be. This is brainstorming, right? So you can edit along the way. The purpose of a mind map is just to get everything out of your head to try to start categorizing and get organizing. So I like this. I think this is one of those tools that you'd have to practice a little bit with in terms of the information you're putting in these boxes to make sure you're giving enough context so it doesn't get confused about what specifically you're talking about. So probably thinking about the prompts here, but overall whimsical.com is pretty cool.